Good afternoon, everyone. Just a single month ago, the first time ever seen in our skies, Steve. They called it a proton arc. This is when we had that intense geomagnetic storm with the blue and white aurora. The power outages across the northern hemisphere in different cities occurred at the same time, along with the electrified skies over Europe. Now, that same First time ever seen light is back again, but this time it's absolutely visibly a Birkeland current in our skies with a twisting field aligned currents looking something straight out of Chinese legend. And then another ramp up in electrical activity, ground to sky lightning, rare red sprites, rare gigantic blue jets across the planet being seen. This was first seen in 2015 by the International Space Station definitely a ramp up and when we start to see these different energies can they be harnessed test the coil in a pyramid lee and i discussed about the electrifying skies as the onset of the mini ice age intensifies episode 23 of mini ice age conversations and please remember to subscribe to adapt 2030 while you're watching the video Back on April 20th, 21st, 22nd, there was a huge geomagnetic storm that knocked out power across New York City, Los Angeles, San Francisco. And during those same days, there was this new type of light spotted in the sky. They named it Steve. They said it was a proton arc, but it definitely had a different look and feel. It was more like plasma switching on to glow mode. It was the first time they'd ever seen this, and the person who photographed it named it Steve. It was the first time ever seen in our skies. And as I said, April 20th, 21st, these aurora were so intense, but the aurora were blue and white, and they actually looked like they were descending out of space. So intense, so powerful. And during these same days, ferocious electrical storms ripping across Europe of the intensity they had not encountered before either. Now jump forward to today, just 30 days later, and a second, never before seen plasma arc in the sky, but this one is so visibly a Birkeland current in glow mode at the moment with the plasma, these field aligned currents spinning in on themselves. You are witnessing history right here. The electric universe is being proven before your very eyes. The ancient myths and legends all knew about this, encoded into the creation myths themselves. And if you don't know what Brooklyn Currents are, you definitely need to do some research on this. This is groundbreaking scientific history being made today. It's visible in our skies. This was on May 21st. And I understand we were in the midst of an electron storm during this time. But this is just something unbelievable here. 30 days after to see the same phenomenon in the skies that was only ever witnessed once and discovered just last month and it happens again. Something is definitely changing. Nuva depicted as field aligned currents twisting in on themselves as well. There is an entire rundown on spaceweather.com. You can check out all the images in the image gallery there. But speaking of electrical phenomenon on our planet intensifying, ground to sky lightning filmed across Oklahoma City. Hundreds of videos, hundreds of images coming out. This was intense. The media, of course, will have uh, an excuse for it. We're not going to a grand solar minimum. Our magnetosphere is not weakening or anything. It's because mobile phone towers on the ground cause this. Max Olson's got a couple videos out on the net as well. You want to chase down his footage and coverage. Let's drop back another day, May 19th, Germany, sprites spotted close up here for you. And at the same time, you have an Australian photographer. This was a nice, rare image here. You got meteors, sprites, and the southern lights all in a single shot. And then we'll go back even a month before the large geomagnetic storm, March 28th, a gigantic blue jets ionospheric lightning and then very rare gigantic blue lightning again over brazil rarely spotted first time it was seen was international space station 2015 and now it just keeps intensifying and look for in my own personal opinion 
a ramp up in these electrical events as we descend further into this grand solar minimum. Other types of charged particles coming into the atmosphere. Cosmic rays are on the increase due to increase another 19% during this next solar cycle, which is absolutely going to usher in the most amazingly ferocious extreme weather that you've ever seen. We're talking about a 19% minimum increase in cloud cover across this planet. So the next obvious question would be, can we harness this energy that's going to be bombarding our planet? Can these field aligned currents be tapped into like Nikola Tesla had the inventions for? This is a Tesla coil in a pyramid close up here for you. The ether is what it's called. You want to check out Ville's research here. Also using a cone slash pyramid shape to draw the field energies around us in as a power source. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Intensification is on our doorstep. You are gonna absolutely need to learn how to grow your own food during this time. Also, you're gonna to wanna to start to get ready for long-term food storage, water, water purification. You're definitely gonna need these things as some of our systems start to go down during these electrical storms. Foodforliberty.com heirloom seed kit, 38 different varieties of non-GMO, non-hybrid vegetable seeds. It's almost 130,000 individual seeds in this kit. It's enough to plant a full 10 acres. And remember, heirloom seeds, you're able to save those, let them dry, and then use them to replant for the next season, which you definitely cannot use or do with GMO.